Good morning, teacher friends. I wanted to show you how to enable Google Meet in your classroom. So you're gonna to go to your Google Classroom. <clears throat> you will click on Settings. You'll scroll down to General. Uh, the very first time you do this, you need to click Generate Meeting Link. Once you've done that, you click Save. And now the students will see the Meet here. They will also be able to see the Meet here. And this little symbol in an iPad or an iPhone will be in the upper right hand corner that they can click on. Now, when they click on this Meet, it only works if you are in it. Um, but I said you can do two things if you wanted to be extra safe. You can come down here and when you don't want it to be shown, you can just unclick it, click save, and now your students won't see it. And now your students won't see it until you're ready, until you have your um, classroom office hours or if you're meeting with your students. The other thing I suggest is in between each meeting, go back to settings, click um, to the side of the meet code and click reset so that each time you're starting a new meeting, you have a new meeting code. I hope that is helpful and you don't need to save for that. It'll just automatically generate and it will generate as many new meeting codes as you want. All right. Another thing that's important is that when you get out of your meeting, you need to make sure that your kids sign off first. If you have one kid that's lingering like this kid right here, <laughs> what you can do is you can click the down arrow and this is where you can pin them to the screen, mute them, or you can remove them from the class. So I would make sure that everyone is removed from the class before you um, click the leave call. You can also turn off your camera, just if you don't want your face to be shown during these. You can also turn on closed captionings so that anything you say as you're talking will come across the bottom and you can also present, present your screen. So those are kind of the basic features um, of it. But again, make sure before you leave a meeting, before you click this sign off button, that you go up here to participants and you kick anybody out so that it's just, you're the last one remaining, all right? And then you can go down here and shut off the call. Thanks everyone, hope everyone is staying safe.